Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Grand Cat, and today we are going to get our second Pantheon Cody Rhodes. You can see here that we have just started on the solo score. We have defeated the Dirty Dominic Mysterio and we have got ourselves the Jagger Reed, the Rey Mysterio and Seamus. We're about to get ourselves our second the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. We also have some other things. Let's take a look at our fusion. We got a Pantheon fusion, so let's get this out of the way. It is a pro Tyler Bay. I don't know whether I'm going to pro him or not. That is interesting. Yeah, I think we're going to use British Bulldog here. And what do we want to use? I'm going to lock that down. Let's take a look at Royal Rumbles. That's more than sufficient. Let's just do that. There we go. New fusion has been started. Let's jump into code, into our code roads, into Giants Unleashed, and finish this off against Solo Score. Once again, we're going to keep those until we get near the end of the Giant. That is not the best, so we're just going to use this, and hopefully the next one is going to be left and right arrows. That's really unfortunate. Okay, then we'll just use our weakest one, so we can at least get off one big one. Reckon that's probably the best we can do. Okay, so not off to a massive start. But we should absolutely get him in the next one. I think it's only about 7 million to go. As you can see, we are still suffering from this problem, where it only shows you the images afterwards. And we can also get the exclusive draft pick so let's get this out of the way as well let's see can we pull ourselves a Roman Reigns we haven't been able to do so up until this point but there is always a chance let's go for this one no such chance there only a myth Ludwig Kaiser so we shall dust him away <laughs> And let's continue. We're just going to proceed. Okay, so there's a left arrow. So this time I'm going to use everything apart from the right arrow. Just the right arrow this time. Just for the additional damage, let's do this as well. And that will do. So a bit more acceptable, 35 million damage in this one. And that should give us our Cody Rhodes. And there we go, we have our second Mr. American Nightmare. The Heroic Giants Unleashed has now been unlocked. You know, we'll screenshot that as well, because I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be. Let's get these rewards. You can dust those. Always remember to check. You're not going to accidentally dust your event card that you just got. Once again, you shouldn't be able to, but sometimes it does show up, so always be careful about that. And we can now look at the rewards for the heroic side of this Giants. It is a Blair Davenport for SummerSlam 23. It is a Joe Gacy for the Pantheon. And then it is 5.16 million or 5.16 billion to get the heroic upgrade, meaning that we are already more than halfway there. 
And we still have three days and four hours left. And we've not spent any credits on this event whatsoever. In fact, we haven't even used gear on it. So this is absolutely... I see this is an absolute win, as the Hulk would say, Bruce Banner. Okay, let's go for this. It's going to be right arrow or it's going to be up and down arrows? It's up and down arrows, dang. Not what I wanted, but we have three right arrows. Which will be good for the next round. You always want to go for the maximum amount of damage. There we go. 29 million. We're getting ever so much closer to that Blair Davenport. I've always thought it was strange that Blair Davenport is named after the place that Seth Rollins came from. He's from Davenport, Iowa. Bit strange. We're gonna go for this. Because even the ones that don't hit are still doing a little bit more damage. That's not exactly perfect. But we did get with four up arrows. Bring us up to 35 billion, which is very, very nice. Generally, I think anything over 30 million is pretty good. And all that can be dusted. So we have one more, <clears throat> and then we're going to try out the Extreme Bounty Breaker. See if we can get through that. Hmm. I'm going to stick with just this. I'm going to hope that the up and down arrow is what comes next. It was. That was perfect. And this one has just a little bit more toughness. There we go, 35 million. We shall get rid of those. And there we go, that is us for the next 7 minutes. So let's take a quick look over here at the Extreme Bounty Breaker. And we're going to play this one for free. Now I have never got past this point here, <clears throat> and I'm not prepared to waste credits, unless I get fairly, fairly high on on this. So I think the first one is free, I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any of the things that can kick you out. Oh my goodness, there was a peak and there was a shield, both of which were reading good. I preferred those to get in the cards. Oh, we've got a shield. That is very cool. I think that's the first shield I've ever had. You know what, this might be the one that is actually good. There we are, there's those pesky pesky hammers. We don't want to see those. Okay, that one was safe. And we got a peak as well. Oh, that's very awesome. <laughs> this is going much better for us than has ever happened in the past. Let's go for the one directly underneath it. Oh my goodness, we finally got there, we finally got onto the level 5. There was a shield and a peak in there as well. And these three are guaranteed in the bonus round.
Okay, let's let's go for this one. Dang it. Okay, well that's where our shield came in. Okay, there's only one hammer left, so there's only one seven chance, so I'm not gonna use the peak here. And that's it. Oh, there was two peaks, one on each side. I feel like using a peak at this point is a little bit wasteful, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so we now have one seven chance. Oh, we got another shield. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Let's go for this one. Oh, we got two shields. Oh, this is this is going very very cool now. Okay, let's go for this one. Oh, we got a third shield, but we can't have more than two. Oh, that's minorly disappointing. But we are still getting through it, which is very very nice to see. Okay, let's go for this one. And the one directly above it. Dang it! Okay, we've lost one shield. We have a peak and a shield remaining. And then we'll get our level 10 rewards. This is still a lot better than anything that I've ever had before on this. Let's go for this one. And we'll go for the one directly next to it. Oh my goodness, okay, we've lost our second shield. Once again, there was a peak and a shield there. Let's go for this one. Oh, we've got a peak. I think now would be a good point to use this peak. Okay, that gets rid of one of them. Let's go for the bottom right one then. Okay, cool. Oh, there was only one peak in there. So it seems that the peaks and the shields have been reduced down to a mere one. Let's go for top left. And the one to the right of it. Oh, it's so dangerous. There was one peak. There was two peaks, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go for the bottom left. So in the last one, the two hammers were here and here. So I'm hoping they haven't done the same area again. Oh my goodness, they did. How much does it cost? 850 credits? Okay, let's try going. Let's, let's try continuing. I'm hoping this doesn't come back to bite me. Oh, there's two peaks available there as well. Okay, we're almost at the halfway mark. Okay, so let's go for the middle. I would like to see more shields or more peaks. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Ah, now it's cost a thousand. Okay, well, we're going to keep going against my better judgment. Oh, this is so painful. Okay, 50-50. Let's go for this one. And the bottom right. Oh my goodness, we've got a peak. Thank you. Oh, that is very, very helpful. Oh, we just missed that hammer. Okay, let's use our peak here. Okay, so... The hammers have a chance of being together, but I'm going to go for this one. And let's go for the one trail underneath it as well. Oh, thank goodness. 
There was three hammers in one peak. Oh my goodness, it's getting even even worse now. Oh, I feel like I've maybe made mistakes. That is a shield. Okay, I feel a lot better having a shield. Let's go for the one above it. Oh, and a peak. We got a shield and a peak. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, only two hammers in that one. Getting that that shield and that peak it was very very good at that point. Let's use our peak right now. Okay. Oh my goodness! Yes, another peak. I prefer getting the peaks and the shields to getting the actual cards. Ooh, okay. We'll use our peak once again. Because we really, really don't want to hit any hammers at this point. And we'll go for the one drill underneath it. No, that was our hammer. Dang it. Oh, there was three hammers. <clears throat> nah, but there was credits in there, so that's interesting. Hmm. Let's go for this one. No! Okay, how much are you costing me? 1500. Alright, let's, let's keep going. Oh, did it remove both hammers for me? Oh, that's very cool. And we got a peak, which is awesome. Yeah, okay, so I removed both hammers. Okay, we're going to use the peak immediately. Okay, so we don't want to go picking anything. We don't want to go picking another hammer. Another shield would be amazing at this point. Okay, I can take that. We're getting close. We're getting to the edge here. Oh my goodness, there's three hammers in a row. It's so dangerous when you see three hammers like that. Okay, there's ten left to go. I'm hoping that I've got enough credits to continue going. That's the next thing that's scaring me. Let's go for... Bottom left. Oh, okay, how much... 1750. Yes, I'll pay it. Oh, we're down to only 3,853 credits left. Oh. I really wanted that to be a shield. No, there's peaks on either side. Ah, oh, that's, that's so disappointing. Okay, because a peak and a shield basically both do the same thing. They, both, they can both remove one obstacle. It's just that the shield... It means that you don't have to use it, but the peak you do have to use. Oh my goodness. Okay. Keep going. 1800. We're down to 2000 credits left. There was three hammers in that one, so let's go for this one. Give me a shield or something. No. <laughs> there was a peak. Okay. And there was credits as well. Credits would also help out. Okay. We're only six away. From getting the Finn Balor. Oh, and we've got a shield. Oh, that is fantastic at this point. Oh, yes. Now we've lost our shield. That is not fantastic at this point. There was a Pantheon a Universal title there. That's interesting. Oh. Okay, so... We're now five actual matches away. Because... This one here and this one here are both going to be free, and then we're going to get our Finn Balor. Oh, this is dangerous. Let's let's go top left. No! Oh, how much do you cost? 1900 okay. Wow, all three of these were all hammers. Let's go for this one. Oh, I really needed that to be a peak or... 
a shield or something. Oh my god, there's, there's a shield right there next to us. <laughs> okay, we're only four away. If need be, I may have to buy credits. I'm hoping that I can click on buy credits and that it doesn't just kick me out. I really want that Finn Balor. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Okay, can I... How much does it cost? 2,100? Oh my goodness, <clears throat> what am I going to do here? <sighs> Alright, I need to think about this for a second. Um, I'm currently going on the Supercard website. Um, to see if there are, on the web store, to see if there are cheaper credit packs on there. So 15,000 credits cost £76.49 on the web store, but here it only costs £67, so that's like £10 cheaper, which is crazy. I think I may just buy the 15,000 credits. Yeah, I think that's what it has to be. Alright, I'm going to have to put a giant cat on here to, um, to stop you guys seeing this. One tap by. Let's go in. Hopefully there's a big old giant cat there stopping you guys from seeing all of this. Don't know what cat I'll use. Okay, there we go. There's our 15,000 credits. Okay, so now we can keep going. Yes, that's the reason I bought it. Which means that this has cost us over 10,000 credits at this point. Okay. Third last one. Oh my god. How much? Another 2,100. That means it's going to be just over 12,000 credits. Oh my goodness. Having, having blocks or peaks at this point would have been good. Or if we'd pulled that credits, that would also have been very helpful. Okay, this is the second last one, so let's... Oh my goodness. So we spent 12,000. This is now about 14,000. But at this point, I mean, we can't... Oh my goodness, there was four hammers in that one. So this is the very, very last one. As expected. So about 16,000 credits. Oh my god, that's how much this cost. We just bought 15,000 credits and we're now down to only 6,000. And we had 8,000 beforehand. So that is essentially 23,000 credits down to 6,000 credits to do this extreme bounty breaker. And there we go, we have got ourselves our Finn Balor, finally. It was incredibly expensive, but we did it. Cost us a lot of credits. Let me just do some calculations here. So if we were on around 8,000 and then we got 
15,000 credits. That would put us on roughly 23,000. We're now down to 6,400. Means that we spent just over 16,500 credits to get this Finn Balor. That is crazy how expensive the extreme boundary breaker becomes near the end. Now we did get a lot of cards. And how many credits was that we got there? 100. We got 100 credits. That was it. In terms of the rest of these cards, what is actually useful to us? Not one card, only the Finn Balor. Nothing else, only the Finn Balor. So we literally just spent 16,500 credits getting a singular Finn Balor. Oh my goodness. Okay, well we're going to lock that down, of course. Well, there you go, folks. There is everything that you can get. I'm not sure what I was hoping for, but... Uh, I think a few more of those credit packs would have been nice. But there, at least we did it. At least we've got a Finn Balor. <laughs> um... Oh, that was crazy. That was... I I'm filled with regret, if I'm being honest. Uh, we're now at 485 of the 450 cards. Um, although I think we are going to change this over to our Finn Balor. That's, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, let's... Well, there's our second Cody Rhodes. We're locking that down, obviously. Okay, go to find. Let's go to our combinable. So, we can catalog pro a few, a, a bunch of these. So, I mean, at least that will give us a bunch of cards, a bunch of new stars. So, let's begin the catalog proing. Yep, yeah, we don't we don't really need them. It is purely for the star that we're doing this. It's costing a lot of super coins as well, but the super coins is the least of my worries at this moment. The thing is if we don't get these before season ten comes out, getting these pros likely isn't gonna happen. Uh, nope, we don't want to pro those. So, on the plus side, I mean, it gave us a whole bunch of stars. Anything else that I can make into pros from here? Short of the two W universes, that is going to be it. Okay, well, let's train up our brand new cards then. So it seems that the Cody Rhodes actually has higher stats than the Finn Balor does, which is... Okay, so you can't change the image of him. <clears throat> I didn't expect that you could, but interesting to note, regardless. We'll go from the lower end upwards. We need to get rid of these to make some space anyway. Mm, 
97. And there we are. So at level 100, folks, the Demon Finballer has 218.8 million in toughness, 220.8 million in charisma, 223.1 million in power, and 230.8 million in speed, which is very, very cool. And our code roads, let's train him up as well. We only need a little bit more to finish that off. Okay, another one. And there we are, folks. There is our second Cody Rhodes, of course, with 222.7 million in power, 225.3 million in speed, 226.9 million in toughness, and the highest stat is 232.6 million in charisma. There we are. There are the stats for those. Well, we still need to train up a few more cards because we're... 464 of our allotted 450. There we are, there is our Pantheon uh, manager Bobby Reed. If we'll level up. We still have seven more that we need to get rid of, so let's train up our new Tyler Bait as well. Takes up to 90. I think we do two of these. Okay, we just need to do one more. We need to get rid of the Seth Rollins as well. We are on 447, so... Yeah, we're going to get rid of the J, so... Unfortunately, we do not need them. There we go. There's our Tyler Bait at level 100 as well, so there you can see what a fusion looks like. So it is 202 million in toughness, 203.2 million in charisma, 204.6 million in speed, but he is a big strong boy with 213.8 million in power. And there we go folks. Has that changed anything in our rankings? Unfortunately not. If we can get a pro fin baller, that would help out here immensely. It would completely overshadow the carrying cross and probably the Double Heroic SummerSlam 23 Edge as well is probably going to be on par with our Undertaker. And of course our Heroic Cody Rhodes is here but the regular Cody Rhodes is not, not yet. Once you get the pro of him, that is going to be our strongest card. The Double Heroic Down Arrow Cody Rhodes. And it's going to be our strongest card for the Down Arrows. Our strongest card so far is, of course, the 945 Johnny Gargano from the Codebreaker. So there we go, folks. Big, long video. Hope you all enjoyed. I still have more Giants Unleashed to go through. I'm going to go and continue that. And now my next point of action seems to be trying to get 150 of these Prince Tokens to get a Pro Finn Balor. And that is going to be it for this little video, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed. Now, if you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out. Especially since I just spent 16,500 credits getting that Finn Balor on camera for you guys. I mean, it was more for me. Yeah, and it was my own stupidity. But... Oh my goodness, um, completing that that extreme bounty breaker is very, very costly. So, well that's going to be it for this video folks. I really hope you all enjoyed, and we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye everybody.